Welcome to lesson 56 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. Today's lesson we're going over conditional logic. This one's titled Use Conditional Logic with If Statements. It tells us if statements are used to make decisions in code. The keyword if tells JavaScript to execute the code in the curly braces under certain conditions defined in the parentheses. These conditions are known as Boolean conditions because they may only be true or false. When the condition evaluates to true, the program executes the statement inside the curly braces. When the Boolean condition evaluates to false, the statement inside the curly brace will not execute. And here's a pseudocode which uh, shows us an if statement. Whatever's inside the parentheses, if it is true, it will run this code inside of here. If this is not true, it will not run the code inside the curly braces. So then we have our example. They have a function named test. It takes a parameter of my condition and inside the curly braces we have our if statement. And if my condition evaluates to true, it will run the code inside of here. But if it is not true, then it's not going to run none of this. It's only going to return it was false. And here they give us, uh, they call the function. And when they call it, here they throw in true, which is going to throw true in, in place of my condition. And therefore, when it runs the code inside of here, the if statement is going to have true under my condition. Therefore, it will run this part of the code, which will return it was true which means it will not return it was false but on the second test they throw in false so once it um, calls the function it puts false in place of my condition and then when it gets to our if statement my condition is false so it will not return it was true because this part of the code will not run since it was false it will therefore jump to this next line that returns it was false so when test is called with a value of true, the if statement evaluates my condition to see if it is true or not. Since it is true, the function returns it was true. When we call test with a value of false, my condition is not true and the statement in the curly braces is not executed and the function returns it was false. Let's also keep in mind that when they throw true in here, it's not a string value. Like we learned in the previous lesson, uh, the keyword true is a boolean value if they had quotes around it it now becomes a string which really has no meaning um, once it has the quotes around it but since it has no quotes then JavaScript knows this is we're talking about a boolean value of true or false so instructions down, down here say create an if statement inside the function to return yes that was true if the parameter was that true is true and return no that was false otherwise so they want us to go inside of here and only change stuff in here they have this function well we can look at their example they have a function called our true or false and that takes a parameter is it true and then the code inside of here says if is it true if it, if it comes back true it's going to return yes it's true but if it has false then it will return no it's false so we want to do something similar to that so we have our function it's called true or false that takes was that true as a parameter they want us to only change code in here so we want our if statement in here which is going to check so we have if was that true we want it to do this so if down here when they call true or false which is the name of our function they're throwing in true so when they call it it's gonna come up here and it's gonna put true in there it's gonna run the, the this code in here which has this if statement which is gonna check was that true and it's gonna see whether or not it was true or false in this case it will be true so it should run whatever we put in here, which would be return, yes, that was true, semicolon. Okay, so if it was false though, 
we want it to return no that was false semicolon so this should already work exactly like that and again all we're doing here is we created this function that checks whether or not whatever's passed in is true or false in this case it's true so it will return yes that was true if we were to put in a false value in here then it's not going to run this part of the code because it doesn't evaluate the true and this if statement will only run if it is true since it is false it will skip over and return no that was false so that should actually be it for this lesson let's just run our test and continue on